welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Gazel. I am a wife and a mother of two. And on our channel, we love to talk about everything in between motherhood, lifestyle, marriage, faith, everything that you can think about, we will find here on our channel. Today's video is a little different. I wanted to talk about what I purchased at the grocery stores and how I shop for my family of four. Today, to start off the video, I did want to show you guys how we buy things in bulk um, and things that's going to last us for a couple of months so we don't buy them in advance. We usually do that once every quarter. So it is February 18th today as I'm recording this video. So today uh, we did it in the middle of the first quarter and we will bulk shop up until the middle of the following quarter. And the reason why I did that is because as we mentioned in our previous videos, we will be moving soon and we are gonna be moving in the middle of the second quarter. Um, so I wanna make sure that when we do bulk order, we are bulk ordering to last us between now and the time we move and then we'll bulk order again once we get into our new home. So the reason why I said we spend anywhere between 100 to 150 per week is because we do uh, like to purchase meats and bulk in advance and I will explain to you what I mean by that. What inspired me to do this video is because in my close friends, I have a lot of people who are moms and a lot of them who whose husband is the only one who brings in income. And with that, they're like, how do you manage to only spend 100 to $120 per week? And I give them a spread of what I purchased and what that looks like. So right now in our deep freezer, we have one pack of chicken wings, one pack of drumsticks, one pack of chicken thighs. Um, and we have one pound of ground beef five pieces of tilapia, one pack of hot dogs, and one hen. In our deep freezer, we have two bags of strawberries. We also have about um, nine pieces of bananas. I'm trying to estimate, um, so I'm trying to subtract in my head how much we've used this week. But we have nine pieces of bananas and we have one bag of frozen mangoes. Okay, I tried to find the receipt so I can give you guys accurate prices, but I can't find it. Don't know what my husband did with it, and that's okay. So to start off our haul, I wanna show you guys what was the most expensive ticket item. This box of 192 diapers cost us $50. Next on the list, we have our dishwasher pies. We do like Cascade. We purchased this for, um, I wanna say about $20. We usually get a bag that comes with 20 in it, for about eight dollars and I we felt like that was a steal because this has 90 pods in it so this should last us for three months so it's gonna last us between now and the time that we move into our new home so this is the last time that we most likely will have to buy dish uh, dishwasher detergent we bought this from BJ's only because we seen it there they had a sale going on and honestly I think it was like a dollar different so we bought it from BJ next up we have olive oil so at Walmart, we get a small little tiny thing of olive oil, and I'm actually gonna grab it to show you. These are the difference in sizes. So I think this was about eight-ish dollars. I'm gonna look it up on Walmart, and I'm gonna put it on the screen here um, if, I'm, if I'm correct or incorrect, but this was about eight-ish dollars from Walmart. And this has 16 flow ounces. This one has 101.4 flow ounces. This cost us $20. I think that explains for itself why we purchased it. <laughs> Next up, I did buy sponge brushes. Um, we ran out a long time ago. We've seen these. These will last us well until our move. Um, so we won't have to purchase this for a few months. Next, we have chicken breasts. This will last us about two weeks. And for the price of it, it was definitely a lot cheaper than what I buy them for at Walmart. We bought this mainly for our toddler because sometimes she is a really picky eater. So sometimes she does not eat the, the dinner that we have. And instead of her having a snack, I would as much rather put, uh, put this in the oven. Is this the healthier option to the food that I'm cooking? No, but it's definitely healthier than just junk food or snacks that are sitting around the house. I want to say this was like our third most expensive item. Salmon is fish. You guys know salmon is one of is really expensive right now. Veggie straws. So. Again, uh, an alternative to cookies um, and unhealthy snacks. We did go ahead and get our daughter veggie straws. Yeah, this should last us for about a month. So we purchased trail mix. And the reason why we purchased trail mix is because I love trail mix. And I'm the only one in my house who loves trail mix. My daughter likes, my daughter and my husband likes the M&Ms out of the trail mix. And my son likes the raisins. So this is kind of like a snack for everybody, but mainly for me. This will last me for about a month. So as long as I don't have sticky hands getting into it 
we got some strawberries and we usually get the smaller ones but the smaller ones that we purchased at walmart it was the same price for this larger one that we should purchase from bj's so we definitely did go ahead and buy a larger one and i will definitely be using a lot of strawberries this week we usually buy strawberries we usually buy fresh fruit once a week string cheese these are our kids guilty pleasures they love string cheese we did buy ramen me and my husband we enjoy ramen the second to last item is pork chops um i am gonna split this in half um, put them in freezer bag do six and six and when we do them i will cook enough for us to have the lunch for the following day for leftovers or dinner for the following night the last thing on our list is spare ribs this concludes part one of week one's grocery shopping list this will be the last week that we ever spend <laughs> this much money you guys will see like i said i we do bulk purchase once every quarter and that is how hi son <laughs> we will do a bulk purchase once every three months hey. and this is what allows us to be able to spend about 100 to 150 dollars max by purchasing in bulk once a quarter hey guys so today is part two of week one's grocery shopping haul and like i said this was a total of 50 dollars this adds on to what we spent yesterday we spent yesterday 220 plus today is 50 dollars, so it would have been a total of 270 so we spent about 120 dollars more than what we usually do because we did um do our quarterly bulk purchase which you guys seen that yesterday so just to go over what we did get from walmart i got six sweet potatoes i'm making sweet potatoes tonight for dinner so um we'll have that I also did get a can of pineapples. We do use pineapples on a daily basis. We also needed more mayonnaise, so I did get another small thing of mayonnaise, a gallon of milk, a loaf of bread, a carton of 18 of eggs, large eggs. We got potting soil, a big thing of pancake mix. Both of our children and us, we love cereal bars. This is the brand that we find is that we like the best and it has three varieties in it and this will last us about two to three weeks yogurt um our children eat yogurt for breakfast this is their favorite kind of yogurt and then sometimes we'll use a half of a yogurt to put in his smoothie as well and then to stock up on ground beef we did get ground beef we used ground beef a lot last week i usually like to buy a pound of ground beef a week that way it could just stock up in our fridge and we will see you guys next week for week two week two would just be week two three and four would just be a one part series week one was just a two part series because we did a bulk purchase as well as a small purchase and if walmart would have had to pick up yesterday i would have showed you guys all in one but they didn't they just had it this morning so um february 19th this is part two of week one and we'll see you guys next week this is part two of the what I buy in a week. Today is February 25th. It is 7.26 in the morning and I just got back with our Walmart pickup order. Um, I spent $140 this week and pretty much everything that you see here is what I purchased. What you don't see probably is aluminum foil and the pizza. But yeah, this is what we spent. Um, to last us this week and also to continue to build up our freezer yeah to go through the rundown really quickly for fruit this week we got strawberries and bananas i also got some avocados and then for frozen fruit we got mangoes frozen strawberries and then mixed fruit <clears throat> for vegetables we got the big bag of green beans spinach brussels sprouts two bags of lettuce we also have tomatoes a red onion up here we have sour cream um sliced pepper jack cheese as well as shredded pepper jack cheese two um two eight two two boxes of four sticks of butter so eight sticks of butter i have sugar uh flour burgers because i am making burgers this week which is why you see so much lettuce um burgers uh, we are a little, little, little. <clears throat> I got a box of spaghetti only because it was on sale. I don't plan on making spaghetti this week or next week, but it was on sale. So I might as well get that because we do eat spaghetti pretty frequently. So I did buy that. But the usual 18 carton eggs. We also got syrup because we ran out of syrup. Barbecue sauce because that was on sale. So might as well pick that up. Honey because we ran out of honey. Oh, I didn't mention we got a cantaloupe. Also, again, um, it's been, a, it's been like almost three weeks since we got a cantaloupe. But I... Love buying cantaloupe like that and chopping it up myself, so I do that. Two things of hen, 
And back here is a bag of rice, which will last us for a while. We didn't, necess we didn't necessarily need rice, but it's always good to have, have it on hand just in case. So I did buy that. I purchased the family value uh, pack of chicken drumsticks. It's again. And then I also got shrimp because shrimp was on sale. I don't intend on making shrimp this week, but if I do make shrimp, that's also an easy quick meal as well. This is what we purchased for $140. Um, I just realized that I didn't purchase bread this week. We honestly didn't eat that much bread. I did make a homemade loaf of bread the other day, and that was absolutely amazing. We had it for our breakfast. So that's what we <laughs> that's what we ate last week. So we didn't even touch the loaf of bread that we had that we purchased last week. So I didn't feel the need to purchase bread again this week. We have the entire loaf untouched. So we'll eat that this week. And yeah, it is now 7.31. I hear the kids up and rumbling. I think Bella just got out of her bed and Junior is crying. So thank you guys for tuning in to part two of what we buy in a month, grocery haul. Um, this week was a little bit more than I anticipated only because we had to get the aluminum foil and the soap and I did still purchase things that stocked up so we'll probably actually eat a quarter of what you see here and maybe I'll do another video one day just showing you guys how I stretch what we purchase in a week to last for an entire week and to carry over to the next week. But thank you guys for tuning in to week two and I'll see you guys next week. Hey guys, welcome back to week three. And as you see here, this is just the small order. I didn't feel the need to record this. Just wanted to show you guys briefly, totaling about $24. This is week fours, guys. So this week I was actually really sick. So I honestly could not pick up the camera to record. This is everything that we purchased. And then the total was about $80. Week five, I wanted to show you guys this as well. Week four and week five is a pretty good basis of what our budgets typically look like. I love to stay under the $100 range as much as possible. Because we did the bulk purchase, um, we did have a lot of weeks where we were a lot under. The max that I would love to see is $130 per week. But because we did the bulk purchase in the very beginning of this video, the following weeks we really didn't need to purchase a lot of things but what you do see here is i'm just stocking up on some things that i need for preparation for junior's birthday party his birthday party is this saturday which i am very excited about i'm going to be doing his cake and cupcakes so stay tuned for next week's vlog because you guys will get all of the details with that this week's total came up to about 78 dollars so i felt like this was a really great week Okay guys, so that concludes this week's video. If you guys actually do the math and do the breakdown, we spent about $120 per week. If you add it all together, you divide it up by five, it was about $120 per week. I don't know if you remember, but in the beginning of the video, I said that the max that we are willing to spend is around $140 to $150 a week on groceries. I do love to stay under the $100 mark because we go grocery shopping weekly, so I just feel like sometimes you don't need to spend more than $100 unless you're trying to replenish, you know, the freezers or replenish your snacks and things like that. With that being said, if you guys like today's video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below what advice you guys have for us when it comes to grocery shopping and making your food stretch. As well as if there's anything that you found useful in this video, please be sure to comment it down below. While you're here, be sure to subscribe to our channel, turn on your post notifications so you are notified every time we post a video. And until next week, see you guys.